Morning, everyone. It's uh, about 8.15, and this is your pre-opening comment. It is video number 934 for Monday, September the 13th. Okay, Kansas City Southern, KSU. Looks like they're going to take the Canadian Pacific as opposed to the Canadian National deal. Uh, it's 2.88 shares of CP plus $90 a share in cash. The total is $27 billion. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, from the Chinese government, who I guess also get that Ron Reagan uh, comment of the worst 10 words you can hear. I'm from the government and I'm here to help you. They now want to break up Ant, which includes Alipay, meaning that Alipay will not be able to uh, run credit checks on their own. They will have to. Um, subscribe to some sort of a government uh, uh, department to run those. Uh, Alibaba is down slightly. Disney up about a buck and a quarter. All new releases to go in uh, theaters now uh, for the rest of this year. Uh, SPCE, um, Virgin Galactic delay in their next uh, space flight due to a possible uh, uh, faulty part. Uh, RGNX is a uh, in a deal with uh, Ambev uh, for eye care. The stock is higher this morning. ITMR also merger and acquisition being bought by Zoll, Z-O-L-L, for $31 a share in cash. The stock is up from last month from uh, about 16 on the low. Last is 29.80, up 9.20 or 44%. And on the negative side, we have Valnev, government canceling their deal for uh, a COVID vaccine. Uh, the stock went from 25 to 59 last month, uh, currently 28.11, down 18.69 or 40 percent. And uh, the Democrats uh, looks like they're going to try and raise corporate taxes from 21 to 26 and a half. As far as the futures go, the oil is holding the uh, gain from last night, as well as uh, the gold being in the very quiet zone, uh, up six tenths of, uh, of a dollar. Uh, the silver is down 20 cents. Uh, we have the uh, dollar up about 24 cents, Bitcoin down 805. Uh, Ethereum down 58, and the bonds are basically uh, up about a third of a dollar, 163.03. Uh, market indications, the futures, Dow up 217, uh, NASDAQ up 89, and the S&P up roughly 26. And just so you don't forget, Oracle reports tonight after the close. And the stock has really performed of late. Uh, it is sitting, you know, not very far off an all-time high, up here at about $90.30, and that's up about $0.62 cents this morning. All right, everyone. Have a good morning. I'll be back later.